check, 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 check it, check, check, checking all the things on my checklist. Check it, check, check, check. Welcome to the Toaster Botnet, where I bubble about random stuff until you either get bored or hit the subscribe button. Today's topic, checklists. First, let's talk about a popular book. It's called The Checklist Manifesto. That's a great book from Dr. Arthur Kawande. Kawande? I don't know. I didn't even read it. I just read the summary. Don't tell anyone. He's a surgeon and in his line of work, half of all deaths are due to avoidable human errors. Like not washing your hands or not having enough reserved blood on hand. Great examples where checklists avoid errors are, for example, in, in the aviation industry, pilots, they do a checklist before um, every flight. Or in the construction industry, there need to be, needs to be safety, so uh, when they finalize a building, they go through a checklist. Despite these industries having a high risk of failure, um, many problems and errors are simply avoided by consulting a checklist. Atul Kawande took these insights from other industries and applied them to his own line of work. So basically he introduced checklists in the operating room. Complications dropped by nearly 30% and deaths dropped by nearly 50%. Checklists are a safety net, first of all. Humans are flawed and might have unreliable memory and simply by consulting a checklist you are creating a safety net to take the human part out of the equation and, and just uh, the checklist just prevent you from forgetting stuff. They avoid a lot of mistakes. You will never forget important steps no matter what the process might be. Check, 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 check it, check. And second, checklists are a time saver. Checklists are good for saving you time. If you make a checklist once for every occasion where one is appropriate, um, you will save time in the long run because you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time you do the same thing over and over again. So checklists are just to ease off the pressure of remembering the stuff over and over again and it saves your time in the long run. Why think about what to pack for your vacation every time? when you just need to think about it once, really. Checklists are efficient. Check, check, check it. I like efficiency. And since checklists are a time saver and they are done quickly and they prevent you from remembering the same stuff over and over again, they're basically an efficient way of doing things. And this way more than we give them credit for. It might sound boring, checklists, but it's kind of awesome. Checklists are a kind of automation. You're automating yourself and your brain. And who doesn't like automating stuff? So some checklists I use, for example, are the classic one is checklists for vacations. Just to remember what to do beforehand and what to pack and what clothes to bring. That's a classic. Everybody knows that. Another one is my morning routine. It's not that I don't remember my morning routine. It's, pretty, it's a pretty easy routine, but by simply doing a checklist and incorporating it into my to-dos, I simply get started the day with ticking my boxes on my task app, and which then just gives me really a good momentum and I want to keep ticking boxes. <laughs> What else? Software hygiene, end of year backups, a free time checklist. So every once in a while I, I, I need a free time checklist. This is like a vacation checklist, but not exactly the same. It kind of just uh, is for when I have a few days off, I don't want these few days to be all work and be productive and stuff. I want to rest, I want to chill, I want to have a good time. So my free time checklist uh, guarantees me that I do everything that's needs, that needs to be prepared, be done until then, is actually done beforehand. So I, have an, I can chillax on my day off. 
Um, I have an event checklist, so every time a new year comes around and I want to include all the events uh, for the coming year into my calendar, the dates that are not known beforehand or are not on the same day every year, uh, I need to check them every year. So it's just a checklist I go through at the beginning of the year, short one. I have an installation checklist is for installing new laptops or computers. If I set up a new uh, battle station, I have, I don't know if this is for everybody, but I'm just a Linux nerd. So I have a lot of configuration to do and yeah, it basically saves me time because the installation process can be just sped up. I'm talking about everything from my Firefox bookmarks to my kernel configuration, Git repositories, everything. I have a checklist for stuff that's in my wallet, just in case I lose it. Uh, yeah, that's not exactly a checklist, yeah, that's just a list, but just in case I lose my wallet, I quickly can look up where to order the, the new cards, like my credit card or membership cards or something like that. That's everything that's in my wallet, and so I just have a checklist to go through. Yeah. Very cool. Micro errand checklist if I have time waiting at a doctor's office or sitting in a tram or something like that. I just have a micro errand checklist for stuff that can be done on my phone. Uh, so I'm being productive while on commute or something like, yeah, um, checking my email, checking my finances, and responding to an email or reading some quote of the day or whatever it might be. I just love lists. I think you get the idea. I have checklists for everything. It just makes life a lot easier. I don't think about the stuff. I just consult my checklists and be done. No brain power necessary. Well, and that brings us to the end. I hope you found some value out of this video. And here's a crazy idea. Just hit the like button. Just once. Like button. Like button button like it no pressure but would be nice <laughs> and see you next time on the toaster botnet <laughs>